What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be talking about green aquarium water and how to fix it. Alright guys, so green aquarium water. Uh, not very pleasant to look at, it's kind of unsightly. And I'm going to teach you guys some ways to prevent yourself from getting it, uh, which is very easy and how to fix it if you do get it, which is also very easy. Um, so the first thing I want to point out to you guys is if you look around my fish room, right, turn the camera here, you'll notice that in all my tanks, I don't have any green water. And that's because I do my part to make sure that I do my maintenance. As long as you do your maintenance, you are not going to get green aquarium water, with a few exceptions. So as long as you're doing uh, weekly water changes, making sure your filter's clean, not letting your nutrients build up in your tank, not overfeeding, not overstocking, you are at a much lower risk of getting green water. And even if you do all those things, you still could get it because of other outlying reasons. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about the green aquarium water, what it is, how to fix it, how to prevent it, things like that. So what is green aquarium water? Uh, most people will just come out and tell you it's algae, right? It is a waterborne algae, which is true. And green water is a phytoplankton, right? And can appear as green water in your aquarium. In very low levels, you're going to see a very faint green tint to the water. And in very high levels, your tank is going to be green. Like in the thumbnail of this video, that tank has a lot of phytoplankton in it. And is very, very green. You can't even see into the tank at all. And that is very, very large amounts of it, right? So is it dangerous to your fish? No. You know, um, it's not going to be dangerous to your fish, and actually, in most cases that you have it, it's actually beneficial, right? And it's beneficial for a couple of reasons. One, it's an algae, right? And what does algae do? Algae consumes nutrients. So it's actually going to consume any excess nitrates or phosphates in your aquarium, and it's going to reduce those levels, making the water actually safer for your fish. And that's a good thing to have, but it's unsightly, so usually we want to get rid of that. So another thing that's really good for is if you're raising fry, if you raise fry in green aquarium water, the fry will actually eat the phytoplankton as a food source and you won't have to feed them as much on your own. You'll still have to feed them a good amount, but they'll be able to consume the phytoplankton as well and actually get good growth out of that as well. So those are a couple things that are actually beneficial for your fish using green aquarium water. Now, what causes green aquarium water, right? So one of the biggest things, even if you're doing all of your maintenance, is going to be excess light. So if your lights are way too powerful for your tank, right? Say you went out and bought the best thing you could buy, you, you bought seven or eight Kessel LEDs, and you have them all set up on your 10 gallon, and it looks amazing, your fish color is really popping. That could cause green water. And it's just because of the amount of light versus the amount of nutrients that are in your tank, and if you don't have enough plants or something like that to absorb all that light and absorb all the nutrients, you're going to end up with a phytoplankton bloom, which is going to cause green water. So speaking about that, a nutrient imbalance is also going to cause that. So if you have excess nitrates, excess phosphates, things like that, that could also cause a green water bloom and you'll get all these phytoplankton because of that, because they really, really like the nitrates and the phosphates. So a light imbalance, a nutrient imbalance, and the number one thing between all of those things is not doing your maintenance. If you're not cleaning your aquarium and doing your part as the hobbyist and the fish keeper to making sure your fish have a nice clean environment, we are the person at fault for getting green water. And it's easily preventable, but if you do get it, it's not that hard to get rid of. So some of the best ways to get rid of green water, and we're gonna start with the ways that I don't like the most first, right? And we'll get to the more natural ways that I like a lot better last. So the first way that you can get rid of it is an algae removing chemical, right? Like algae fix um, or any other algicide, like liquid CO2 products, they could work too. 
Um, so basically you just dose those into the tank, the chemical will go through the tank and wipe out all of the algae, will kill it all, and then you can just take a fine filter floss or a filter pad, put it in your hang on back or your canister, and that pad will actually remove all of the dead algae, and it will clear up your water. Right? So you do that with uh, some water changes to help reduce the amount of phytoplankton that the chemical has to fight off and it will clear your water up. Now, using chemicals, I'm not a huge fan of using chemicals because they can harm the ecosystem in your aquarium. So you want to be very careful when it comes down to using chemicals in your aquarium. The second option is UV sterilizers. And UV sterilizers work very well at removing green water and algae from your aquarium. Anything that passes by that UV sterilizer, the UV light is going to alter the genetic code of that plant or animal or phytoplankton or anything that goes past it, it's going to alter it, right? It actually alters us because UV light is what gives you sunburn and suntans and things like that. It's altering your skin. So that's why UV sterilizers work well. And you can get a couple different ways to run a UV sterilizer. They make them in hang on backs like this here. Um, or you can get them in canister filters like this one here. This is a Sun Sun canister. It's got a built-in UV light. And I'm actually going to make another video reviewing some Sun Sun canister filters and tell you guys about them, how they work, things like that, and why you might not want to use a Sun Sun, even though they work great, they're good canister filters, I've used them in the past, why you might not want to use them versus one that might be a little bit more expensive. But that's for another video. Um, there's also standalone units, right? Like this here, the green killing machine. These can be bought at most Petco's. Um, you just set that up out as a standalone unit. It's basically a little pump with a UV light in it. It pumps water through it, killing off the algae. And um, there's also inline units. So those of us who use canister filters, you can purchase one of these. Basically, you cut your inlet or outlet, whichever one you want. You cut the line and you install this in the top and the bottom right here with your, your line. They just attach there. You plug in the UV light, the water flows through it, and it works just the same way. Any water that passes through it, anything that's in there is going to alter the genetics of it and not allow it to reproduce, right? Specifically for the algae, it won't allow it to reproduce. So you run the UV sterilizers, you put in a polishing pad, you right, do your water changes, things like that. It will clear up. It's very easy. Now, if you don't want to go buying a UV sterilizer, you can do it without a UV sterilizer, and that's by doing an aquarium blackout. Now, what do I mean by a blackout? I'm talking, you take a blanket, you turn the light off in your aquarium, you completely cover that aquarium with the blanket for seven to 10 days, letting absolutely no light in there. Make sure you're doing water changes while you're doing it to help reduce the amount of phytoplankton that's in there to reduce the green water, right? So do your water changes, keep it blacked out as much as you can. 100% blackouts work the best for seven to 10 days, reduce your feeding, and after the 10th day, do a large water change and you should be good to go. You should not long have a problem anymore. Um, and the last way that I found this one out, and I think it's really neat, and this is probably the most natural way you could do it, is Daphnia, right? Which is also known as the water flea. If you go online and purchase about 100 Daphnia, they can wipe out a green algae problem in your aquarium in days and you put them in there, they love to eat phytoplankton, they'll go around, they'll consume it all, and then once all the green algae is gone, your fish can actually enjoy them as a snack. Daphnia works very well as a, uh, a diuretic for fish, so if you have fish like bettas and things like that that are having bloat, you can feed Daphnia, and it works the same as most other people would feed crushed up uh, deshelled peas. So it works as a laxative, it helps prevent bloat and things like that. So Daphnia are an excellent, excellent way to remove that. And they also have other side benefits as well. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you've ever had any green algae problems, green water problems. Go ahead and put a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know if it was informative, if you guys really enjoyed it. I do have a lot more content coming, guys. I know the whole coronavirus thing's got everybody locked up in their houses and everybody's getting quarantined. So lots of good content coming for you guys. So please stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching Trafish Aquatics, and I will see you guys in the next video.